Mike with uh, Street Scene. Mike, welcome to our booth here. Yeah, thank you. Great to be here. Glad to have you here. So, uh, real excited about uh, about some of the new products that Street Scene's coming out with. Thank you. Of course, you guys, uh, auto restyling specialists, do a great job in that. Uh, so, let's talk about uh, let's just talk about the history of Street Scene first. Sure. Uh, how did it start, and, and how long you guys been going? You know, Street Scene's been around for over 15 years now. We were all uh, car and truck enthusiasts. We were all putting products on our own cars and found that stuff didn't fit. And so. Uh, we really wanted to, uh, especially for the truck market, uh, sure. you know, when the truck market uh, was really starting to get going for customizing, especially the lower trucks, uh, we wanted to develop some products that were pretty cool. Um, we wanted to develop products that fit. We had tried other competitors' products, they didn't fit. And so, uh, so we got started there. We had uh, six part numbers there that we uh, developed first. And then uh, we created the Speed Grill, which is the mesh style grill. Love that grill still to this day, one of my yeah, favorites. Thank you. And, and that was a patented process. Uh, it still is patented today. But we were the first people to really come out with, this, with kind of that mesh grill. When sure. billet was the it was the only kind of grill you could get, which was a billet uh, bar style. Right. And when you had to cut the grill out to fit it, uh, we wanted to have a mesh grill. Uh, I kind of come from the import scene a little bit, or at least back then it was uh, old Datsun 510s and 240Zs and all right, that. So right. road racing. And so uh, I kind of liked that European look, that styling. And uh, so we created the speed grill market. Uh, it was made to be an overlay. Uh, so we really kind of take credit for A, being the first guys to come out with mesh, and B, the first guys coming out with an overlay system. Fantastic. So you brought some things to show us today. I've got uh, this is a, a, a chin spoiler and a splitter, and this is for the, the newest model Mustang, is that correct? Correct, that's for the 2013 Mustang. So over the years, Street Scene has developed into a lot more than just mirrors or grills. Right. We now have over 2,700 part numbers, and uh, we've developed products uh, for a lot of cars and trucks, a lot of body st styling products. So when we go after a vehicle, uh, we try to attack it and say, okay, say the new Chevy Silverado's coming out or the new Mustang, right. whatever, we want to have front to back. So it's not just one part. We'll like to do at least between eight and 12 products for that vehicle. Okay. So that the consumer can either start with just one piece or want to build the whole car at once. But if he wants to build it over time and, and uh, you know, maybe doesn't necessarily have all the bucks at, at first to start, right. Right. That, right. Uh, but over time they can build a complete vehicle. Well, and also, you know, on that note, you know, instead of having a full kit, which the full kit is great, and they can, of course, order all of it at the same time, uh, everybody likes to customize their vehicles a little differently, too. Right. So some guy might want the chin spoiler, but might not want the grill for whatever, and they can choose to do that as well, so that's great. Yeah, exactly. And then even in body styling, we have different generations. And generation dust just means style. Sure. So, for instance, on this Mustang, uh, this year's 2013 Mustang, mm -hmm. we have a Generation 1 and a Generation 2. Right. Both fit the same Mustang. Uh, both V6 and GT, but it's just two different styles. Sure. So for example, our Generation 1 is actually a chin splitter, and this is made from urethane, but that's actually meant to be a lower splitter that goes below the uh, bumper cover on a Mustang. Right, right. right? And, and this is a nice solid piece too, it feels really good. Yeah, so this is our hard urethane, uh, and what's neat about urethane, uh, urethane from a manufacturing standpoint is very expensive to get into. Tooling is expensive, sure. uh, buying the materials is expensive, buying the machines is expensive, so, you know, the upside for us is, uh, while it's expensive, it really limits uh, uh, competitors or at least being able to build the same kind of product. Of uh, the upside for us also is, uh, say this, this uh, chin splitter here, if somebody wanted to make this a fiberglass, you're never going to get two fiberglass pieces the same. No. Because it's hand laid fiberglass, the molds are pretty crude, that kind of thing. When we build a mold in urethane, very expensive mold process, but part one and part 10,000 come out exactly the same. Exactly the same yeah. part, right. So, it, so it's a quality piece that's going to fit correctly every time. So if something, so if somebody balls it up and, uh, and runs into a curb, they can go buy another one, it's going to fit just like the first one. Did. Exactly. Not only that, but it's going to fit exact every time. Right, every Where time. Where fiberglass may twist and may not look sure, the same. Sure. So that's our generation one splitter. Right. For that same Mustang, we also make a spoiler, and this one is our soft urethane, and it goes okay. over the nose of the car, and it's just a okay. different style. Sure. The other cool thing about urethane is, you can see here that it can oh, take yeah. the twist. Yeah, so, so unlike fiberglass, if you hit a curb, yeah. it's uh, you're done. Time for bodywork and paint. Yep. This one will you can hit a curb. It's no different than some of the plastics you see on the front of cars today. Sure. So same same idea. Um, so you can hit a curb with this. It'll bounce back. You might scuff the paint, but the part is still good. Again, you know, again, that, and that's where you go in and you put your flex agent in the paint, and it's probably going to bounce right back, and you never even notice it. You just exactly. put a little polish on, and you're done. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> So, so that's some of our body styling. Now we have uh, we have over 400 part numbers in body styling. So if you're doing a truck, you have a bumper cover, we have side skirts, we have a roll pan. Uh, all those are in your thing uh, uh, manufacturing. So uh, 
Over 400 part numbers in just your thing, over 1,000 part numbers in grills, and over 2,700 part numbers total in the range. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, it's you know it's been great to do business with you guys over the years. Uh, we strive to do you know just top shelf uh, top shelf uh, 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 clients, and we've really enjoyed uh, doing business with you guys. You guys have actually we actually bought a grill or got a grill uh, system for you for our, one of our project vehicles. Oh, we great. have that entire grill conversion for our uh, our uh, uh, Chevy truck. So we had the old style regular grill, and we got the really neat looking piece that we're going to be installing real soon. Oh, very so good. So that's going to be a neat deal. We're excited about that. Well, we really enjoy working with you. You know, uh, we were talking earlier that uh, today, sometimes you get to these mass uh, retailers or merchants, and you know, I always say they were flipping hamburgers yesterday, and they're working behind the counter today. And so, if they can look it up in a computer, and if they can get your make, model, year, they might get you the right part. Um, but we're losing some of our enthusiasts. And one thing we enjoy about Andy's is that you guys are still enthusiasts. So not only do you know to sell the right part uh, and to get the customer what he's looking for, but you're able to make recommendations. You understand the difference in generations, you understand the difference in styling, and uh, so we appreciate having people that understand our product, Street Scene, and we also we enjoy the fact that you guys are enthusiasts. Uh, you know, you still got your noses in the in all the magazines and you know on TV and all those sorts of things, and know how to build a product, know how to build a vehicle. Yep, and that's one of the things that we're doing. You know, we're built, we're doing, we've got project vehicles going, and, and we really do enjoy that because we really are car enthusiasts. Yep. We're, you know, on the weekends. Uh, last weekend I was at a racetrack. Two weeks before that I was at a car show. And and you're going to find a lot of our guys out and about doing those things and stuff. So yeah, we definitely are enthusiasts, and and, and that's one of the great things we really like. Uh, because you guys uh, really cater to some really neat uh, some, some people like us that like to customize. Yep. So we really appreciate and good high quality products too. Thank you. So yeah, we try to make sure it fits. We're the same way at Street Scene. You know, we we uh, as much as we want good salespeople and good accounting people and all that, we want to make sure they're enthusiasts as well because sure. we want them to be enthusiastic about the product they're selling. We want to make sure that they, even if they're in the accounting end or in the warehouse end, we want to make sure that they understand product, that they make sure that the right product goes out, that they make sure that it fits every time. When they're man in the back manufacturing, we manufacture 85% of our goods right in Southern California. Wow. And uh, so when they're building that product, even if they're on the machine day in and day out, we want them to be enthusiasts and to know that that product's going to fit every time. That's great. And that's and so on the, uh, so let's go back and talk just a few seconds about your quality control. So you test fit parts, make sure everything goes, you look at so many, after so many parts, you make sure everything looks still good. And all exactly. That. Yeah, we do a lot of test fitting for it, even our grill shells. So in our grill. So we'll, we make a, uh, say we're making a, a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado grill right. insert. Sure. We pull that grill shell down, even though everything's on molds. So right. these things are all on molds, but we actually pull that grill shell down and we'll test every once in a while as we're producing, you know, we might produce a hundred of those inserts at sure. a time. Uh, but every tenth one, we actually fit into the oh, shell, make sure, make sure it fits right, and that sort of thing. And uh, it's just that extra quality assurance to, to make sure that we're selling the best product possible. Well, that way when the customer gets their part, they know that they can bolt it in there, it's going to work, and they don't have to worry about it. Exactly. So that's, that's great. Yeah, exactly. Anything new? So you're working on the latest and greatest Chevrolet trucks, Ford trucks, yep. all that Yeah, stuff. we always, one of the fun things about we've been able to do with Street Scene is that we have been able to develop great relationships with the OEs. So, for example, uh, today uh, at the SEMA show, we released the new Focus, Ford Focus ST. And so that new Ford Focus ST is just coming out. But well, we had the car away in advance. And so the OEs will give us vehicles in advance for us to do our body styling, grills, those sorts of things. Um, and so that when that car hits, um, all the product is on it. So we, so today at the, the SEMA show, we released the Tanner Faust edition Ford Focus. Very nice. and, and we'll be able to sell those products here pretty quick through Street Scene. Um, and it'll be a body kit, it'll be some other products that go on that vehicle. Um, but, but that couldn't have been done unless we had that relationship with the OE that allows us to be in event. They recognize that the aftermarket helps them sell more cars. Sure. If they release a new Ford Focus and there's no accessories for it, they're probably gonna sell less vehicles. Sure. And so, uh, so they come to people like us, they come to manufacturers like us, they allow us to have the car in advance, we build the products in advance. So the day that that car hits the market, we've got accessories ready for it. Well, everybody wants to, and everybody wants to customize their car. Most people, you know, certainly enthusiasts. We like to customize our car. Now, there are people that go and just drive to work, and that's great, but yeah. you know what? That car's going to end up in the hands of somebody that's an enthusiast. Somebody's exactly. going to go, gosh, I wanted a Ford Focus, or I wanted a, a 65 Mustang, or whatever. Sure. And they're going to find those customization cars. So uh, that's, a, that's a great thing that they get started right off the bat yep. the time that they hit the showroom floor. It's really interesting. We find that not only that, but we'll get the, the person that's the first time owner that buys the accessories for it, 
But we still, to this day, sell a lot of 88 to 98 Chevy CK pickup parts. Oh, it's, sure. It's amazing how many times. I mean, those you know those cars haven't been around since 1998, right? Right. right. And uh, we still sell to this day, you know, thousands of parts for those vehicles. That's right. Well, so, again, we got you know we just got our we just got our 98 pickup yep. truck, and so we're, we got we got our grill shell and our and our conversion for the nose from you guys. So, yep. uh, Great. We're excited about that. So yeah, that's exactly right. You, you never know who's going to end up with it next. And, and, and people always like to customize things. Yeah, so absolutely. That's great. great. Well, we really appreciate you. Thank you. Food yeah, today. thank you. And, it's been uh, fun. And we'll, uh, we'll hope you have a rest, uh, great rest of the scene. Thanks, you too. You bet. <laughs>